Blue Ridge Food Ventures has decided to purchase um, a new uh, kettle setup for the ball valves. Uh, we purchased a butterfly valve system that's a lot easier to take apart and put back together and clean than the ball valves. Um, it doesn't require any tools um, and uh, you can pretty much do everything hand tight and we don't need to have big wrenches and those kind of things around to uh, possibly damage the kettle or damage all the fittings. Um, so we purchased this system. I want to uh, go through everything with you and show you all the parts and pieces. We will have a SOP on how to put it together and a, something that will label all the pieces. Um, we'll get a final copy out to the people who are going to be using the system. Um, this works very well for thinner liquids. Um, I would say if you have a salsa, a very thick salsa or a thick product, we may need to try to go back to the ball valve system. Um, but for anything that's fairly thin, um, jams or jellies, uh, hot sauce, anything like that, we can use this system pretty well. Um, so we'll go through all the parts and pieces. Um, all the parts are located in this uh, tub that will usually be kept under the Simplex filler or under the RoboCoop or the Cut Tomato. The Simplex filler is here, it's on the mobile cart and the Cut Tomato is over there on the table. Um, so the parts that we have are, this is uh, pipe tape. It keeps, uh, if you put it on the, um, the threads of the kettle, it'll keep it from leaking. Um, this is a pipe adapter. So it has a, a, a female pipe adapter and then a, uh, a sanitary uh, fitting. This is a sanitary gasket, a tri-clamp, um, this is your, your butterfly valve. It functions very similar to the way the, the ball valve did, except it's easier to clean, like I said. Uh, sanitary gasket. Um, this is a tri-clamp fitting, a sanitary fitting with a barbed in, a tri-clamp, and then a pipe clamp. So our first step will be to take the tape, the pipe tape, and we're going to be putting it on the outlet of the steam kettle. You don't have to do this four or five times around, just one time around will take care of it. Um, you don't really have to go all the way back, but it's okay to go uh, one or two runs back. And that's about all it takes. And when you take it off, please make sure to remove this because this holds a lot of debris and could hold some contaminating um, parts of your product for the next person. So make sure to take that off and clean that very well. Our next part that we're going to put on is the pipe adapter. This screws on to the outlet of the steam kettle and lets our, our tri-clamps and our sanitary fittings uh, be attached on there. So you can take this on there and turn it right to tighten it on. And you'll just need to hand tight this down. We don't need any tools for this because if you do it too tight, it'll be very difficult to get off. Hand tighten it down and you should be able to back it off very similar with your hand when you take it off. That way, again, we don't need any tools to be able to do this. Then we'll take a three pieces, the sanitary gasket, the tri-clamp and the butterfly valve and we'll put those all on at one time. And let me show you the butterfly valve real, real quick here. This is the outside of the butterfly valve. You can notice it has the little notches here and the 100% tested on here. You're going to want this facing outward. The other side has a solid plate and no 100% tested and the reason that we want this part facing outward is when you open it the handle will come out away from the kettle and you won't be hitting the kettle and you'll be able to open it up fully. So if you have any questions about that, uh, talk to Martha or Chris. So we take these three parts and you'll take, you'll take the gasket and there's a little groove in the sanitary fitting and a little groove in the gasket and it'll hold it together. You take the butterfly valve with the notches facing outward and the 100% tested facing outward and you sandwich that gasket between the pipe adapter and the butterfly valve. You'll then take your tri-clamp and there's a little notch here and a little notch in the tri-clamp and just lay it over there and then that'll hold it on there, back it out a little bit and righty-tighty to 
tighten it down. You just really need to hand tighten this down as well. Not too tight so you can get it off and get ready to take it off. And you've pretty much got your valve on then. Um, very easy, no tools required. If it's perpendicular to the outlet clamp here, or the outlet pipe, that means it's closed. If it's parallel, that means it's fully open. There's a bunch of different notches as well that you can do to let it open partially or fully. Most products are going to need to be fully open. So you're pretty much where you need to be. Um, we have a couple more pieces to put on to allow you to drain the the kettle when you want to um, uh, when you want to drain it directly into the drain, or if you're going to use the system where we can actually pump out of the kettle, we can actually attach some things to it as well. But it all needs these next three pieces, and those pieces are the sanitary gasket. This is the sanitary fitting with the barb on there and the tri clamp. You take all these three, we'll sandwich the sanitary gasket between the butterfly valve. Again, it's got that little sanitary fitting with the groove in there. You make sure that groove and that groove go together there. Take your barbed in, and it has a little groove in there, and put it on there. And it's, it'll be kind of snug in there. You'll have to hold it on. But then again, it has a little ridge. Your tri-clamp has a little ridge. You take it, put that over it, clamp it together, and hold it, and then tighten it down. And then again, you don't need to tighten it too tight. Just kind of hand tight will be enough. And you have your barbed in on. Now, if you're going to take another hose and hook it to the pump, you can do that, and that's a part of another kind of training session. Now, if you just want to drain, what you'll do from here is we have a, a hose that we can attach to this and use a pipe clamp to put it on. We'll do that now. The hose is normally, right now we're using the blue hose, and it's kept over by the three compartment sink on the bracket to the, um, the shelf above. Um, we're going to be changing that hose out to a stiffer hose so it doesn't lay on the ground. But you take the blue hose and the pipe clamp and you use the pipe, cam pipe clamp to attach it to the barbed end there. So what we'll do is we lay the hose out on the ground and we'll put the hose clamp on there, push the hose end on and Put that on there like that, and then it's it's got a little uh, flathead screw head here. What you do is you take your flathead screwdriver and tighten it down, righty tighty, and it'll tighten tighten that clamp on there and won't let any water leak. So when you fill this thing up with water to clean it, what what'll happen is then you'll be able to take the hose and drain it directly into the drain there, so you won't get muck all over your floor. Essentially, that's putting the, the system together. Um, you take it all apart, um, wash, rinse, and sanitize everything. Again, before we put this on here, it was wash, rinse, and sanitize. Um, make sure to take the tape off of the kettle, because um, that can harbor bacteria, like we were saying. Um, and if you have any questions, see Martha or Chris. Thanks.